uh, École Cantonale d'Art de Lausanne. It's, um, it's a Swiss school based in the Lausanne. It's a, it's a university uh, which is uh, focusing on uh, art and design. Flock came to us uh, asking the question uh, what would be the future of school seating for students from uh, 6 to 12 years old. And uh, I thought it was a really interesting uh, starting point because obviously, I mean, a chair is uh, like one of the icons of uh, design. It's uh, quite a, a challenge for, for, for students of uh, first year. But, uh, but uh, to, to twist the challenge and to turn it into a, a, a school a sitting is, uh, is uh, making it a bit more uh, specific and at the same time uh, more uh, interesting, in my opinion. The students, I think, were really, really interested in such a project. First of all, it's not every day that you can work for this kind of target group or audience, which is younger than the students. Usually we work for adults, at least in the furniture field. And I think they had to really also put themselves back into their childhood memories. But of course, since their childhood memories, everything has changed and will certainly keep on changing in the, the education world. So I think it was also a, a lot of guessing, you know, and, and uh, thinking of what's about to come in, in the education uh, methods and also, of course, how can that impact the furniture. We started uh, with uh, Einstein uh, Osted uh, coming to ECAL for a two-day uh, small workshop. Uh, where we asked the student to, to do a, a really specific research on many parameters of the project, like uh, investigating uh, the history of uh, school sitting. I think the, the, the main thing that uh, came out of this research was really this idea of uh, flexibility. I mean, in the, in the, we all have this image of uh, the schools from the 60s where every uh, children were looking at a blackboard in one direction. And uh, it seems that nowadays teachers are encouraging much more flexibility inside the classroom and uh, most of the projects are, are focusing on uh, this direction. From the flock brief, I first started looking into the typology of the stool, its versatility, its ability to adapt to different situations. So taking this character, I also wanted to add a, a sense of comfort. Thematically, study is about balance. It's both lightweight and it's durable. It has storage and it's stackable. It's made out of two nesting components. And it's aimed at the ages where the child is still between the cheerfulness of childhood and the desire to grow up. So to balance between these sort of diverging feelings, the hope is that Steady with its stool-like form is inviting and playful, yet with the storage and backrest, it points towards an attitude that's more focused and disciplined. My concept is a high table combined with a small uh, sitting help. The seat is basically attached to the center of the high table, so you can rearrange it towards all the directions. Children can uh, change their posture easily, so they can uh, stand up while learning or they can take a rest on the small stool and they can rearrange it uh, yeah, towards whatever they want. Yeah, it fits in those open, new learning environments. Little high chair serves the growing need for alternating between sitting and standing postures during student study. It's designed for students aged from six to eight years old. Little high enables students to either stand up at the desk or sit down properly on this high chair. And it's also stackable and it's easy to store it on the top of the desk. My chair suggests a classroom where we partly integrate tables in the chairs and uh, we create a more open space. And this also enhances the use of digital devices such as tablets, for example. And in terms of shape, it allows you to furnish in a lot of different constellations. You can create organic shapes or also groups of four or even more. I did some uh, study visits at different schools to get inspiration and also to be reminded of how a classroom environment looked like today. Then it was all about investigating how classroom actually changed when we use all these digital tools that we do, computers and tablets and etc. And when I knew that I wanted to create a chair which was a table and a seat connected to one piece, then it was all about shape and proportions and materials. 
I see the future for education in a variety of decentralized learning concepts, which will affect the way students will sit in the classroom because there is no longer a clear orientation. Swivel is a school chair with a unique character based on the specific combination of rotating and stacking. So the backrest and the seat are allowed to have a 360 degrees movement to allow us a new flexible seating for the future classroom. Aesthetically speaking, it really refers to the typology of a classic stool chair with its steel tube frame all around it. My concept is Tripli, which is a mat which is opening up the floor as a working space. The children can then choose um, a new place, so instead of sitting on a chair, they can sit on the floor and work there, and then also do that in different positions. Use it as a tool to, to create different situations. For me, the future of uh, school education is based on self-determined learning which means that children can just decide what they want to do, how they want to learn, with whom they want to learn. And uh, instead of having a teacher-centered structure, um, they have spaces and furniture and material they can choose. Tilt is a child's chair that combines a dynamic and ergonomic architecture and I approached it with a very playful and warm form language. I started introducing an adaptive spine which holds two plywood surfaces to keep it a lightweight and very flexible chair. At the same time, this spine sits on a, a gas spring, so it makes the chair also height adjustable and suitable for a range of ages as well. All over, I wanted to, to appear this chair to be a very playful, warm materials, easy to move around, to kind of answer to these needs of the future classroom. The start of the research was that 83% uh, of children sit on a wrong size chair, uh, according to studies, and I was looking into ways to solve that, and on the way I found that I could solve that issue by a single diagonal movement. That means changing the height and depth of the chair uh, by using an angularly mounted gas piston. So that was quite a new innovative approach. I then looked into how I could technically implement that, that it's also producible for flock. And I think the result I came up with is a chair that is suitable for any child and from the age of six to 12 and enables any child to sit ergonomically correct. And it's also nice for the schools because they can furnish each classroom with that chair. And of course, it's also good for flock because they would only have to produce one chair and one size instead of a design in three different sizes. And I think, yeah, that are the advantages of my project. The brain collaboration is a, a, a part of the DNA of uh, ECAL because um, we think it's really important that the, the, the students are really uh, engaging in, a, in, a, in a, a real briefs given by uh, companies because we think it's the best training for the future career. In my opinion it has been a, a wonderful journey because uh, the, the, the topic was uh, experimental enough for the students to uh, be uh, creative and to, to open up the doors and I think this is really like a good context for a school to discover this kind of uh, territories and then overall I mean uh, I think uh, it has been uh, uh, really uh, an interesting uh, yeah, uh, collaboration uh, on many parameters.